Yo, what is up guys? JRZ Saiyan here with some Xenoverse 2 gameplay in the background and I'm going to be breaking down all the major, major combat differences that completely changed the game from Xenoverse 1. Big shout out to Rhyme Style for letting us use the footage of Xenoverse 2 of his, of his footage so we can actually get these breakdowns done. Now guys, I will be breaking down every single thing that I did notice. I, unfortunately, I didn't get to play the game myself, but I, I didn't need to play the game to actually see the differences that I did. And I was pretty much right because Dion actually made a, a video similar to this one. If you want to go check it out, make sure to go to his channel, see Reacts. He's growing pretty fast. Make sure to go support all of us Dragon Ball Tubers. You can find them all in my sub box. All right. So let's start with the differences. So one of the biggest things in Xenoverse 1 that everyone hated and that it was really, really good thing that this is implemented into Xenoverse 2 is running away, drifting, you know, Tokyo drifting. Remember that one time I played that guy, STI Rivera? He was just drifting the whole time. Then he would use the super in Xenoverse 1. Well, now you can't do that. So now when you're drifting and they come attack you, you can hit them and they, they won't be moving. They'll be in your combo, in your hits now. Now they can't drift away because the, the, you're actually hitting them. So they can't run away. They can't drift away. Another thing is when, let's say, you're about to win, right? And there's a couple seconds left and you barely have the advantage. You barely have any health left. You start flying around in circles and circles. You start flying around, running away. You can't do that anymore. Now when you're doing that, and you fly up to him and you, you hit him or you throw a key blast and it and it lands, then you get him in a, in your combo. Before it's you run and you try to hit him and it just it doesn't connect. So now it does connect. That's a big thing that they're adding. So it's gonna be really hard to, to actually run away like that. And that's good. There, there shouldn't be any running away in Dragon Ball, right? This is a Dragon Ball game, it should be a lot of high intensity action. Um, so another thing is when remember in Xenoverse one when your stamina would break and you would go up and down and up and down. I'm I'm someone who does that because you can do that in Xenoverse one. So you let's say either your stamina breaks or you run out of stamina in Xenoverse one. You go up and down, up and down. You can't do that. So when you're going up and down in Xenoverse two and someone rushes up to attack you, they hit you, they get you in a combo, and then they know you got no stamina and you're screwed. So that's going to be a, a huge huge difference in Xenoverse 2 that in Xenoverse 1, you know, you could do going up and down. And all these things are really, really small things, I guess, but they're actually major things, guys, because this is kind of, it, it, it affects the way you completely play in certain situations that are crucial. So you got to be careful. Uh, um, you guys are knowing this now, so you guys can start practicing this universe, right? <laughs> All right, so you got to be a lot smarter with stamina because if if you lose it, you can't really run away to to try to get it back. So that that that's another thing that I do, right? So you can't really run away to try to get your stamina back. So you got to be very, 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 very crucial with your stamina. You got to be more skilled with your uh, with with punching and with with combos. So you can't, so you don't lose a lot of stamina and snap vanishing and whatnot. So remember, you fly away, you try to run away, you try to do anything running away, they'll catch you guys. Alright, another thing, snap vanishing, I just finished mentioning it. Now you can snap vanish in every d direction. So that's a huge defensive skill, snap vanish front, back, side to side. Xenoverse 1, you can only go front and back, which was still really amazing, but now that you can go side to side, that is a huge thing, and I, I can already see Snap Vanishing being a, a major thing in Xenoverse 2. In Xenoverse 1, it already is, but the only thing is you can only go front and back. And the thing with that is uh, in Xenoverse 1, it kind of it, it would be a little bit laggy. Hopefully, in Xenoverse 2, Snap Vanishing doesn't make an online match laggy. And Snap Vanishing uh, picks up the pace a lot in a, in a Dragon Ball fight, especially in a Xenoverse 2 fight. So... It, it's going to be a big thing. It's going to be a defense skill. Make sure to start learning how to, how to snap vanish, and you'll get it, guys. You'll get it. So snap vanishing is a huge thing. A dodge attacks, dodge everything. So that's a skill you need to utilize, and don't worry. I'll be doing videos on all, all the snap vanishing. Once I get my hands on the actual game, I'll be making tutorials on exactly how to do everything you need to do. All right. Another thing that is easy to do in Xenoverse 1 that is hard to do in Xenoverse 2. Well, harder. It's not that it's hard. 
You just got to be more precise with it is perfect blocking. You got to be a lot more precise watching all the gameplay from Afro Senju, uh, C-Reacts, and Rhyme Style. It, there is barely any perfect blocks. So there was a good amount, as you can see in the background, right? But th there wasn't as much as you would think, especially because in Xenoverse 1, you can just fish for perfect blocks. You just keep spamming the L1 button and it'll, per well, L1 for me, right? But it'll, I don't know if you guys have the same uh, controller set thing. But yeah, it, you pretty much, <clears throat> you can't spam perfect blocks. Well, you probably could, but it's a different timing. It's a little bit more precise. So hopefully you can't, right? So no spamming perfect blocks. Uh, for Xenoverse 2, you got to be more precise. You got you got to have that that timing down. So you already know one of the first things I'm going to do once I get Xenoverse 2, once I finish the actual story mode, once I finish my playthrough is that I'm going to learn exactly the timings for the perfect blocks and all the all the moves so I can know exactly what I need to do to get that perfect block down. All right, and I'll show you guys that. Like I said, this is this is a non-stop hub for Xenoverse 2 and Xenoverse gameplays and tutorials and everything, guys. Trust me, I got you guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video because I'm still not done. All right, so vanishing out of a combo. So you remember in Xenoverse 1, you know, you can, you can vanish or you can use your stamina and, and vanish behind them when they're hitting you, but there was that one combo. If they would get you at the end of the regular uh, combo, that you could only use your evasive move to get out of. Well, that's if you guys know what I'm talking about. It's it's the infinite combo. When someone's infinite comboing you and you can't get out of it just with regular uh, vanishing, you have to actually use your evasive. Well, that in Xenoverse Two is out. Thank God that's out because that was the annoying thing. That's how people got you in infinite combos and you couldn't get out until your stamina was coming back and if your stamina was not coming back. You're screwed. But in Xenoverse 2, you can get out of that with the regular vanishing, with the regular two bars of stamina, you can actually get out of that, which is amazing. Thank you, Dimps. Very amazing. So you can do that, and that's an amazing thing. All right, now the last thing I want to touch on is the ground. The ground isn't safe, guys. It isn't safe. Um, they can grab you. They can use a super. They can use an ultimate. They can start combos off you. When you're on the ground, which is uh, a major thing that's changed from Xenoverse 1 to Xenoverse 2. Because Xenoverse 1, you had time when you were on the ground to recover stamina. You had time on the ground to to just rest and, and be safe. It was kind of a safe mode. This time, it's not a safe mode. The ground isn't safe. So, I would, I would let you know that you can hit someone when they're on the ground. So, that's one of the things that a lot of people probably won't do in the beginning because they'll be like oh well in Xenoverse 1 you couldn't really hit someone on the ground so they're kind of used to it nah guys you can hit someone on the ground you can grab them on the ground you can use a super you can use an ultimate and you can start combos which is pretty amazing thing and I actually thought of something when someone's on the ground that you can utilize but I'm not gonna say it right now <laughs> because that'll be pretty OP so the ground not being safe is already pretty OP which overpowered which means uh it's going to be something that a lot of people have to get used to, and that's why you got to be a lot smarter with your stamina, because you're on the ground, you have no stamina, you're screwed, they start a combo, they use an ultimate something, you're you're done, you know. <laughs> so yeah, guys, those are some of the huge, huge, major combat differences and changes from Xenoverse 1 to Xenoverse 2. Guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, let me know if you guys enjoyed, let me know if you guys uh, saw anything else that I might have missed. Um, I think I pretty much touched up on everything, or most things, that I can see right now out of the actual gameplay. Like I said, I didn't get my hands on it, but I can't see it because I'm, I'm so used to actually playing. And so when I see a, a, something that's a lot different, or a little bit different, I notice changes. Just like in real life, I, I see changes in, in, in everything, tendencies and whatnot. So guys, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Like I said, hope you guys had an amazing blessed day, and let's get hyper Xenoverse 2. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Thank you.